Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and today we are going to be decorating the living room and doing a little tablescape just to get prepared for spring. While it is still stormy and rainy and winter here, I just feel like I need a change and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful day. Okay guys, today is my first day decorating the living room and dining room. I'll kind of show you how everything looks. I'm gonna move that piece. I don't know if I'm gonna move it. We've actually been loving having that here. Um, it's really nice, especially it's been pouring rain, but um, when we watch movies and stuff, we all kind of like lay on this like a bed. It's so much fun. And since it's still rainy and cold, I think why not? I don't know if I'm gonna keep these here, but um, I have some decor for these. And I want to put some mantle decor up today. Tuna's over here. Here's all of the decor we're going to use. And then over here, I want to do a tablescape. And I want to like move all this stuff around. Stuff always tends to pile up here. And um, I want to just get this nice and cleaned out. So we're going to do that. And um, what else? I think we also might, um, here's some pads I got for the dining table. Yeah, I kind of just moved those here, but we're going to rearrange all that and put some florals here. So that's what we have going on today. Let's get into it. Hi, sweet baby. I love you. You're so sweet. Okay. Oh, and... I ordered a blanket from QVC, so we're going to unbox that. And you know what I'm going to do before we do anything? I'm going to turn on QVC plus HSN plus because it's my favorite. So if you have been on my channel, you know that my childhood dream was to work at QVC. And obviously that never happened. And I live in Napa Valley, California, so that probably will never happen. But it never stopped me from loving to watch the channel. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but QVC and HSN came together and formed a QVC Plus HSN Plus, which is a free streaming platform where you can watch all their shows. I love that they have a thing called Watch and shop. All you have to do is download the app or visit qvcplus.com. Put your email in. It's totally free and you will have access to tons of exclusive content. I love it. Their shows are so good. While watching one of my favorite shows that they have, which is a gift wrapping challenge, I stumbled across this blanket that looks so soft. So I ended up ordering it. When you are on the app, it's actually very easy to order. Or even if you're watching the show, what I love about the show is you just use the QR code and you can actually, um, order it right then and there or click to the left and just order it right from your TV. But if you want to actually see the item, you can actually drill down into it on the app, which is amazing. So I ordered this blanket, which I'll show you guys a little in a little bit. But this particular day, I was watching one of their design series. I also love their cooking shows. I love they have all kinds of different challenges. Like for Christmas, they had this decorating challenge. It was so much fun. It's really inspiring. And what I love about it is like oftentimes I watch, you know, YouTube channels, and it's one person doing things their way. But here on QVC Plus, HSN Plus, I get to see so many talented people just inspire me to do things a little bit different. So today's Decorate With Me is going to be a whole lot different thanks to QVC Plus, HSN Plus. I watched the Ballard Design uh, series and it is so good. I will link it down below. But you guys should definitely check it out. You can absolutely stream this anywhere. It works with things, anything from like Fire TV, Roku, Xfinity, LG, Apple TV, Android TV, Google Play. I mean, you name it. It is integrated everywhere, so you can actually watch it. It is super easy. All you have to do is put your email address in and you get access for free. It's amazing. I love to have it on in the background. It feels like I'm hanging out with a bunch of friends talking about things we love like home design, if you guys want to join me over there, I will put a link down below. And thank you again to QVC plus HSM plus for sponsoring today's video, but also giving me amazing content to inspire me every single day. Mm -hmm. 
Since it was such a rainy day and I was feeling so gloomy, I've been feeling super gloomy all month. I don't know why it's been, we've had some really beautiful days, but it's just been, um, I don't know about you. Tell us how your start to the year has been down below, but for me, it's been rather challenging for all kinds of different reasons, but I didn't realize um, at the moment when I was doing this, but when I was done, I realized I just needed to change up my surroundings. Sometimes I get a little bit um, tired of seeing the same old stuff all the time. So I went to our storage unit and got all the decor from our old house and I was slowly getting through all that stuff and I decided to just add a little fresh decor to the house. So I'm really excited to share that with you. And I also wanted to kind of change up my style. I told you guys in a previous video that I have changed I'm changing like the way I dress in that style but I also wanted to change the style of the house so I wanted to bring in some more provincial French um, just really beautiful patterns and colors and vibrancy when I moved in I thought that I wanted to have an uh, kind of a more monochromatic vibe and it's just not me I love color I love antiques I love the French style so I um, ordered things from all over the place and I found these uh, seat covers and I just thought the print was so beautiful. It's very transitional. And as I've said in this, uh, on this channel before, these chairs are really pretty, but they're really hard to sit on. And these pads were absolutely beautiful. Christmas season I added these very thick curtains and it really helped keep this space nice and warm but I thought since it is just dark really really early lately I thought why not bring in some more of the light of day so I decided to pull these curtains back a bit it gets pretty dark here about 4 45 every single night and at, that will change pretty soon here but for the most part I thought we should just let as much beautiful light in as we can because it has been pouring rain we actually have flash flood warnings for this evening as I'm doing this voiceover and the other really fun thing I have coming up on my channel is I decided to add a bunch of stone fruit trees to the property as well as a lemon orange and apple and I want to do peaches I want to do pears I want to be able to go out into my backyard and be able to pick fruit for my kids and um, I do it at work you guys know I work at a winery that has a very substantial farm on it and um, I just thought why not do that here at home as well it's a great thing for the kids too. They love it. So you will be joining me. We're going to go to Van Winden's, which is where I get all of my gardening supplies here in my hometown. And we will pick all of the different fruit trees we're going to get. But I'm really looking forward to just making this house feel like home because for so long, this house has not felt like home to me and it's starting to feel like home for the first time. One thing I wanted to do is prep. This evening, we are going to be going out for dinner, but I wanted to set the table for breakfast. We're having brunch here the following day, and I thought it'd be really lovely to set the table. I found these really pretty um, French rabbit uh, uh, plates that I thought would be really cute to start adding in. They are a little Eastery, but honestly, I think I will use them all spring because they're beautiful. And then these are my mom's um, these are her ceramic uh, soup dishes. She used to make um, French onion soup in these and bake them. And um, when she passed away, they became mine. So I thought it'd be nice to serve. Um, we're going to be doing a parfait in these. And then we're also going to be doing some um, really beautiful egg dishes here. But uh, I won't be filming any of that because our family will be here, but I just wanted to get the table set. And it was really, really lovely to just spend a half an hour setting the table in silence.
Speaking of gardens, I'm wondering if you guys have started planting your garden. I love these plates. My mom got them and I just love them. <laughs> They're so beautiful. And honestly, I just wanted to bring them out, not only to think about her, but also just to start to get excited about harvesting in my garden this year. It'll be my second year ever having a garden, and I'm getting really excited about all the things I want to plant. I also thought it'd be really nice to add some florals to this corner. It just looked really sad and dark over there. I love these dark um, wood side tables, the pedestal ones, but I wanted to change up. I wanted this space to feel a little bit lighter. So I brought in the side tables from the living room in the other room, and I think they look really, really beautiful. I also decided to tie back these curtains as well, and I really could feel like the light just pouring into this room. It just feels so much better, but I wanted to kind of lighten it up. We also have this very dark, um, lamps in here which I love but again I just want to lighten the space up. I also feel like this area needs a bit more artwork so my husband and I were chatting about a couple pieces of artwork we could be adding to the wall here just to kind of make it feel a little warmer. I will say just bringing in these light tables made that dark dining room table feel so much less dark and I also love the little pop of blue on those seat cushions as well. For the mantle, I was thinking of going in a very natural direction. I love it, this old, it's actually a vineyard um, root that has been beech wooded, <laughs> I guess is what the lady said, but it's really, really beautiful. And because we're in vineyard land, I thought it'd be really nice to add that up here. But I wanted to tuck in some natural elements, so I added those two little trees and this micro bust to it. And then I thought I would get some old, these are old pots that I had, and I thought I'd just add them in here because they're just so beautiful. And I wanted to stuff some greenery in there, but I was like, you know what? I actually really just love seeing these natural different textures all together. I still want to make sure that everything that goes into this house is you know of the antique French vibe with a southern twist I found these beautiful pillows and I thought they would bring in really fun different feel than I've ever kind of really done in my home now I will say I did get inspired from QVC plus HSN plus they have a design um, show on there that I love and I just got so inspired by the prints they had. And then when I went shopping, I was able to find many pieces that spoke to the same vernacular. So I ended up picking up quite a few things. I love this blanket. I just felt like this might be one of the most beautiful blankets I've ever seen, but a lot of this did come from there. And I'm just gonna play around with it and see how it feels. Um, so far, it feels very different than anything I've done. You'll have to wait till the end to see how it comes out but it really does feel very elevated and beautiful and I definitely wanna add more color and vibrancy throughout the house.
the fireplace felt a little bare so I added this tray I have and then this beautiful um, bouquet and then I ended up adding in some crystals here I just thought it would be really lovely to have them I've been really drawn to rose quartz so um, I ended up adding lots of rose quartz and then I found these wonderful little um, faux blush dandelions and I just thought they'd be so sweet to add here almost like come over and root yourself in gratitude and love and then blow these beautiful dandelions and make a wish. So I added those in here and then I definitely wanted to get that fireplace on because the rain was starting to pour here in our hometown. The other thing I wanted to add was up here on this counter, it can be really, really bare. When we gut this kitchen, we will actually not have this counter anymore just because we don't really use the bar for anything. The kids sometimes do their homework here, but I just wanted to add some extra plates since we are going to have a little overflow for brunch. So I just added these placemats. If you are an OG on this channel, you know, those are from my um, Victorian house and we've had those for a very long time. These plates, they are ceramic. They're beautiful and the price was unbeatable. I will link them down below. If you're looking for something similar, I love that kind of handmade raw edge ceramic I just think is really beautiful and then I just thought this area also looked a little bit sad so I thought I'd add a little bit of a pop of color with the blue vase and these white florals I didn't want to overdo it here in the kitchen so I just added a couple floral arrangements and then to mom's urn I found this really sweet heart uh, made out of wood at Target and I added some sweet flowers I know she would love. She loved the color of green like a mossy green so I added that over there for her and then over the um, stove I added just a simple wreath I picked up from um, Balsam Hill. I really really love using citrus and natural things like um, the uh, olive branches and things like that. You know I just realized I have all these olive trees in the backyard but yet I still buy olive branches that are fake. So the next thing I'm going to do is try to figure out how to start working with real olive branches because it seems very strange that I don't do that. Last touch is adding these very sweet napkins to the oven and then I'm going to give you guys a really nice tour of how everything turned out. As the evening is approaching, I turned some of the lights down so you guys could really get the effect of how it feels in here but I just added very simple touches in here. It definitely feels way different now with the couch pillows being a different color. I've always used all white everything or tans and taupes. I just felt like they was look beautiful. And to be honest, these little pops of color has got me wanting to maybe put some wallpaper up, um, do some very dramatic things in here because um, I've never done anything like that. I've always kept things, you know, very monochromatic and um, I've never been bold with my colors and as I am approaching 40, I'm wanting to try new things and um, just because something looks beautiful doesn't mean that something else couldn't look more beautiful. So that's going to be kind of my energy this year is just trying new things and um, spending a little bit more time being intentional about how we decorate the house throughout not only the holidays, but also um, the seasons as well. I will say, um, I don't know about next year Christmas time, but I don't know that I'm going to go as overboard as I did last year. Um, but I do have some really incredible things that I want to accomplish for the holidays. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around because I have a lot of things coming up on this channel. Right now, I'm getting all of my decor out for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. I'm also getting out my decor for my spring decorate with me. I always feel like during January, I always decorate with lots of greens. 
I'm not sure if I've already posted my master bathroom um, and my bedroom the, or like the primary bedroom and bathroom, but um, those videos will show a lot of greens as well. But I'll let you guys take a little tour and I will see you in the next video real soon. Please don't hesitate to subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this. Um, my channel has kind of gone in and out of many different things, but for the rest of this year, I'm going to be focused solely on decorating and cooking and soft living. And if you're interested in something like that, I would love to have you join my channel. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye. Oh, mm -hmm.